Hey everyone, it's Fantasia and welcome to another mod review. So this one is actually on a different education mod. I had the Quiet Stacy one and I still plan to use that, but this one I literally didn't even know existed. So thank you for those of you guys who were commenting about it in some of my videos. This is really, really cool. It has so many little details. It does have the preschool for the toddlers, which is perfect. It has things for the children, the teenagers, everything, graduation. We have a lot to cover. There's way more than, I, than that. So so we're going to head over to the post about it and read everything. And then I'm going to show you guys as much as I can during this video. But first let's do our notification shadow. And this one goes to Kyrie. and I use a lot of mods. So I actually have a whole mod review playlist on my channel. If you guys go there at pretty much every mod I have is in that playlist. Cause I always do reviews on all the mods I download. And I actually have videos titled all 40 of my mods, all 50 of my mods. That was like an updated one. And I had gotten more. So those are videos where I show all my mods in one video. Those are also in that playlist. So yeah, thank you for your comment. And if you guys want a chance to be in a notification shadow, all you gotta do is comment down below. So let's head over to the post. Okay, so this is by a uh, Deep Indigo and it's the education overhaul. And there is a lot of info here. So of course I will post this down below, but they did say that this is one of their favorite mods they've ever made, which is so cool. That's a really good sign. There's a whole education career. Now, obviously there is like a teacher career now in the game, but this just seems so much more realistic. I love this. Like new branch in education career, K to 12 educator, added support for Discover University with required degrees. Sims need a degree in art, history, biology. There's a whole bunch of things here. And then look at this primary school teacher, secondary mentor. You can be a department head principal and then preschool. So we're going to be showing this off for sure. You can enroll your toddlers in preschool. They go Monday to Fridays at 7 a.m. and we'll stay there for about seven hours. There's a ton of new education enrollment options. You can submit final application, go to graduation ceremony. There's different schools you can enroll into, sign up for camp. So grade school and high school changes, homework, school projects, and assignments out of the ability for your Sims to do homework work online. So it's under the career menu. And if you guys see here, this is a lot more options than we usually have. So there's not just do homework, write English paper, work on art critique, submit original composition. Like that's really, really cool for children. You can fill out activity chart, do math problems, practice vocabulary. How freaking cute is that? And then we did read some of them for the teenagers, but those are the options there. So there is some stuff changed with the parent school projects so you'll you'll no longer just get prog you'll no longer just get projects every monday they will be randomly assigned and there'll be custom assignments so there's artwork assignment coding assignment all of that fun stuff there's also school day changes there's detention Detention makes a comeback. Oh my gosh, you guys, that's so much fun. There is some new actions when they're at school, so you can be disruptive, attend club meetings, actively participate. You can copy homework. And then there's field trips, aquarium, art museum, planetarium. Oh my gosh, you can go to the zoo. School hours for high schoolers are changed from 8 p.m. to 2 p.m. So they no longer stay till three. And then there's snow days and summer break. How cool is that? I used to always plan like a holiday for summer break on the calendar, but now they're automatically off. That is so fun. I freaking love that. So there's school milestones, prom and school dances, graduation. There's also some future plans here for homeschool and all of that or virtual school option. It does tell you the required packs here. So base game at Discover University only for the education career. And then Snowy Escape's not required, but if you do have it, you can choose the pack uniform um, for your Sims to wear. Um, and then there's some instructions here on how to download this. So definitely make sure to read all this. So like I said, I will have this linked. Also just want to take a second to say this is the cutest toddler ever. She's so precious. Oh my gosh. All right. So first things first, I'm just going to click on the toddler and right away when you click and you just look through a little bit, you're going to notice that it says enroll in preschool. The little darling preschool is a safe and joyful environment for toddlers to learn character values and skills. How cute. And then it says Eliana has been enrolled in the little darling preschool. 
classes occur five days a week. So she should actually tomorrow Sunday. So I'm going to play a little bit off camera because I do want to show you guys everything. Um, but that's totally okay. I'm just going to get everything started for them. So, um, you're going to have to do some stuff on the computer. So let's go ahead and have her, she's a teenager. So we'll have her come over here and just find the school right here and then school enrollment. And you can apply to Bedlington Latin school. That's really cool. Apply to Wintercrest. Oh, oh, this is an elite private school. <gasps> okay. So this is specialized slash magnet public and then striker alternative school, alternative public Sim city Academy is independent. Huntington prep preparatory school is boarding school. Oh my God. Sims three vibes. And then there's another boarding school. Oh my God. Military Institute. <gasps> Okay, you guys. So I think we're going to do the elite private school because that seems interesting. So let's do that. And then I'm pretty sure he should also be able to do it after she's done. Or I think there's another computer. Yes. Okay. So, um, he pretty much has the same options. Now, if we do the, like, I do want to see, so obviously the private school, you know, she's going to come home every day, but I want to see what boarding school is like. This one is offering world-class facilities, immense grounds, and a first rate in international education our students are not just students of these halls but students of the world they forge connections and make memories that will last them a lifetime so this one uh oh each cadet who ends who enters its hollowed halls make a commitment of honor integrity pride and justice <gasps> whoa this is so cool what does this one say offering okay so this one is like the same as this one so i think i'm actually gonna put him in this one Okay, let's do that. And a whole long thing comes up here. Oh my gosh, we have, <laughs> we have a bunch of things going on. Okay, so Zariah has chosen not to attend her local public school and has started an application for a more rigorous education. Applications are current for five days. All private and specialized public institutions of learning availability require an interview Oh, and a completed application, including an application fee. Admission is not guaranteed. If accepted, the student will be enrolled in the school of their choice. If rejected, they will be enrolled in the local public school. Upon aging up, they may try again to enroll in a more rigorous institution at that time. Oh my goodness, what is going on? <laughs> Okay. So it seems like it's the same thing for both of them. So you don't just automatically get in you guys. Like also he can already fill out activity chart and practice vocabulary. Um, but his homework is done for the day and then you can review social studies. All right. So after you do the first thing where you're just choosing the school and all that, you can also write personal statement and then you can also go on and Oh, admissions tour and interview. Oh, okay. So let's do school enrollment and then let's do write personal statement. I'm going to do that. So there's also an option here to withdraw from school. I think that's the mod. Um, so yeah, that's just a thing. Okay. Yeah. This definitely has to be the mod because there's a whole new category. And then there's also sign up for a parent teacher conference. So that is really, really cool. We'll try to look at that as well. Okay, so they finished writing their personal statement and it says, Zariah has finished her personal statement and added it to your application. If an interview has already been completed, it's time to submit the application. Otherwise, the next step in the application process is to go on a tour and admissions. Okay, so we're gonna have to do that. So we got one teenager awake, so I'm gonna have her go on the admissions tour. So let's go ahead and do that and she can bring a parent. So parents sleeping, but we're gonna bring her. So they're gonna go, oh no, she's on her period. Oh my goodness. Now it says, thank you for touring our school and submitting to an interview. We enjoyed meeting you. Please complete your personal statement if you have not done so already and submit your final application. The status of your application will be made known to you upon receipt following the deliberation of the admission committee. We will be in touch soon. Okay, so cool. So I did also send him as well. 
So now you have to submit your final application. So then you do that, which he's also gonna have to do the same thing once he's done. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, this is just in time. I'm actually glad that I started on a Saturday because now it's Sunday and this popped up today. So then she'll go tomorrow. So congratulations, Zariah. We are pleased to offer you a spot in our school. To secure your place, a parent or guardian must use the phone or computer and officially enroll you within 24 hours. Welcome aboard and congratulations again on your acceptance. Oh, I love this so much. Oh my God. So um i guess we can just enroll in school <gasps> that is so cool oh my gosh so she's currently enrolling okay so she's officially enrolled um oh my god he also got accepted yay okay so they're both accepted and now we can also enroll okay <laughs> We can also enroll um, little Bowen. So that is perfect. Oh my gosh, look at this. Prepared for prep. <gasps> okay, so she gets a moodlet here. That's cute. And then it does say independent now. So that's the only difference here. Also, his looks pretty different. It says middle school student. And then it says like, I don't know. It's different, I guess, because he's going to be going off. He's supposed to just be leaving. It says vacation days available 27 days. Oh my gosh, you guys. <gasps> okay, so he, it just said, oh my god, he's running terrified. Um, It just said that he's off to boarding school. Okay, so he leaves at 6.30 in the morning and he put this outfit on, which I don't think is one of his outfits. So I guess that's what he puts on. And yeah, so is he just gone then? I'm guessing. Uh, so he's off. He goes super early. It makes sense. Oh, okay. So it says that he's attending that. There's nothing I can really do with him. I think he's just gone. It's kind of, oh, it's kind of similar to the boarding school in The Sims 3. We might get like pop-ups for him and stuff. I don't know. Um, but that's actually kind of cool. So interesting. This is good if you just want to do like a different storyline. Um, or if your sim just has way too many kids in the house and you're like, what the heck do I do? And this is like hectic. Okay. So it looks like she's about to go and look, she wears the uniform. So this is from Snowy Escape, but you don't need Snowy Escape. So basically it's just like, you know, um, you, you can use it, right? So there's also an option where if you want to choose your school uniform, um, you can do that as well. Oh my goodness. I love this. Okay. So she should have different options when she's at school since she's just in private school, not boarding. So let's see. So you can actively participate, attend club meetings, be disruptive, copy homework, goof around. Um, there's also normal class participation, which she's already doing. Oh my God. University preps, take notes, sleep in class, participate in group work. Oh, <gasps> Oh, I love this. I love this so much. Attend club meetings. I'm going to have her do that. So it does say here that she'll be home at 1.30 p.m. So I think I read two, but maybe it's 1.30 or maybe I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see what time she comes home, but it is a little bit earlier when you're in high school. Okay, so she's home and she actually did pretty much get home at 1.30 and it says her grades are up. So that's actually perfect. And I don't think there's any, like she doesn't have anything specific right now, but as you guys know, different things can happen. Like you can have field trips, all of that graduation. So there's obviously some things I can't show you guys. And now that she's home, we can write an English paper, all of these different things. So what should she do? I think it'd be kind of cool if she wrote an English paper. I love that. So this is just different ways that you can do your homework. And I think it's really realistic because then you kind of feel like you're doing like they're getting different homework each day. Like, I really like that. She's decided to do it in the rain, of course. <laughs> I just realized something with the preschool. She didn't go. Was I supposed to tell her to go? Oh, can she go right now? Can she still go right now? She's filthy. I feel terrible. <laughs> I just been speeding through. Okay. So you have to tell her to go. Um, so definitely remember that. But even if you don't tell your toddler to go at the right time, it looks like they'll still just go. Okay. So I had her go and it actually looks like she will stay. So I think with the preschool, you know, it doesn't really matter if you want to send, like they'll just stay for like seven hours. So I like that actually, because then you can kind of choose like when your toddler goes to preschool. So there is that. And you can't really do anything with them while they're gone, but they will of course learn their skills. So as you can see, she's learning all her skills, which is awesome. But you guys, oh God, oh gosh, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up here. Poor girl. 
Um, I love this, you guys. I definitely recommend it. I think this is awesome. I think the creator did an amazing, amazing job. Obviously, I don't think you can use Kawaii Stacy's and this one at the same time. So whichever one you prefer. If you guys don't know about the Kawaii Stacy education system, um, definitely go and check out her website. You guys can kind of, you know, read both of them and see which one you prefer. I've, I've been using the Kawaii Stacy one for a long time. So this is different and something new for me. So like I said, I'll have the link down below. And if you guys want to download it, you can. It's completely free. But with that said, I'm going to wrap this up here. If you guys enjoyed it, if you guys are all being an amazing, amazing day. And don't forget to leave some positivity down below. I love you guys also so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. The